Hi, my name is Hagen. I'm here right now in the Red Sea Research Center in Saudi Arabia. And today I'm going to tell you what we are doing as a working group and what I personally do to fight climate change. My aim in my project is to understand the combination of salinity changes and heat changes on our coral system because most of our productivity from the oceans comes from the coastal zones but for the past decades now ocean warming and acidification are taking a huge toll on them so we need to find ways to not only protect them but also first of all understand what they are doing so we are doing reef science in general but if, you, if we go for a bigger goal it is to say that we try to understand how thermal tolerance in corals works. So we want to understand how they can cope with our changing climate in terms of heat, how they will maybe adapt and what we can actually do to help them adapt to those scenarios. This is something we hear in Kaust, for example, we are faced with every day. When we go in the fields, we sometimes see reefs that are bleached we always have to keep in mind that this is our kind of bubble, our reality. We, we are so immersed into it that we sometimes forget that people from other parts of the world, they don't see it. If you're a business guy and running around in a big city, you wouldn't know how real climate change affects real ecosystem and how screwed they can be. And this is why I finally realized that we need more scientific outreach. You have to go out there, you have to talk about it constantly us as a scientist we are now speaking about. It's not just me, it's like really the whole scientific community. We have to do a better job at communicating our stuff. For example, let's take Twitter. Don't just follow your biggest star or something, just look up a scientist for example. Our working group, there are a lot of people on Twitter and we tweet about just anything what we do. We tweet about our failures, we tweet about our big wins, what we found out, what is really pressing on our minds, or what we think is just an amazing thing that's just happened. One of the most common questions we get is, do you think you really make a difference? And I personally, I believe we make a difference. And I know a lot of colleagues who think so too. So just help us believe in that and just help us make a difference. 